What's up guys, Sean Bennett here with North Kiteboard and I'm going to tell you how to do my favorite trick, the boogie loop. Yeah, what's up? Well, been wanting to do a video on how to boogie loop for quite some time now. And uh, yeah, it's actually, when you think about the mechanics of the trick, it actually works out really well for you when you get completely inverted. And it sounds like that would be a lot harder, but the trick is, you know, when you're riding, say I like to do them to the left, so you're riding and I have my harness hook right here. If I were to just spin and turn my back to the kite and then pull the loop, it would pull me out of this crazy, you know, disoriented motion and I'd be totally out of control. But when you're inverted, the hook of your kite is actually lined up, the hook of your harness is lined up clean with the kite. So I go into my front roll, get totally inverted, and I wait until I'm totally upside down and then pull the bar in all the way and crank the loop as hard as I can. So then a lot of the times I'll actually watch the kite as it's spinning around and I wait and I keep my eye on the center strut until it's pointing up to like 12 or just a little bit off. And that's when I let the bar out for the kite to fill up with wind and rush to 12 to catch you. So yeah, step one, get good speed. Feel your load and pop, you know, letting the bar out just enough to have good power. I just I ride with good, good speed. I ride pretty fast and then edge hard and let the bar out so that I can load the bar up with, you know, load the kite up with the bar out as I imagine. And then I'll start sending the kite to 12 o'clock. And as I'm leaving the water, I tuck over, look over my back shoulder, so in this case looking over my right shoulder, and when I'm about halfway through my rotation, I literally throw my head back and just huck my feet up. So when you're completely upside down and inverted, then you just over commit to the bar and pull it all the way and turn it as hard as it goes. And I let my feet just kind of fly behind me as the kite's pulling you, and keeping your eyes on the kite is definitely the key because you don't want to under loop it. Even if you over loop it, it's probably a little safer than under looping it because if you over loop it to like one or to 11, you can always down loop it from there, which is actually the preferred position to down loop the kite from. So yeah, you know, ride hard and crank the bar as hard as it goes and don't let go because in the middle of the kite loop, while you're flipping one way and the kite's looping the other way, there's a really weird moment where you just feel like you don't know where the hell anything is and you're totally disoriented. So uh, yeah, just hold on through the craziness for an extra second or two and then you'll be surprised that everything starts to work out in your favor after that. So just keep the bar pinned long enough. And another thing to control your rotation, you know, when I go into the roll, I keep my head thrown back and I watch the kite. And then when I'm coming out of the rotation, I slowly extend my body and that'll kind of slow down your rotation. If you stay tucked up like a ball, you might over rotate and land backwards and catch an edge. So if you go really big, you know, it's good when you're coming out of your front roll and you're letting the bar out for the kite to shoot to 12 and catch you, you're also extending your legs nice and slow so they're getting ready to swing underneath you. But yeah, it is pretty awesome. You know, like most of the time when, when people do kite loops or I do kite loops, you know, you usually down loop, heli loop the kite to the opposite side that you loop the kite. So if you're doing a regular kite loop, you loop it with your right hand, boom, you watch it, let it shoot to 12. As it's pointing back up to 12, you let the bar out, the kite shoots all the way to 12. Now, a lot of the times you can heli loop the opposite direction that you actually loop the kite. But it's really interesting for the, my front row kite loops because I take off left foot forward and I land left foot forward. Where every other kite loop trick is usually like a big transition. Take off right foot forward, land left foot forward with the heli loop so you land going the opposite direction. But with this front row kite loop, you know, I go into it, crank the bar with the front roll and commit and hold it for just long enough until the loop to be over, let the bar out, and then as you let the bar out, the kite shoots over your head and you swing underneath it. So that's the key right there. Like, it's okay if you shoot it right to 12, but you're better off letting it go a little bit off of 12 to like one or 11. So if I loop it with my back hand, I'll let it come all the way up to 12, and then I'll actually give it a little flick to the left to just hit like one o'clock or 11 o'clock really quick. And then I down loop it from there. So with the front row kite loop, I actually down loop, back loop it to land the same way that I kite loop the kite as well. But really there's no rules as long as you reset the kite because if you have too much hang time and you need more down loops, it's better to just take the kite a little bit off the center and then down loop it to the opposite direction. 
a lot of times I've wiped out really hard when I crank the down loop right from 12 o'clock because then you get more of a forward pull but you know you're like over loop it let the kite shoot just a little bit off 12 let the bar out so you swing past the kite and then you initiate your down loop so you're getting more of like a lift helicopter loop instead of a forward pull you know yeah so the heli loop it's like you know i guess you could do a down loop but i think to consider it like a really true heli loop it's after you've swung under the kite and now the kite's like literally behind you so you're down looping it heli looping it with really no power it's just supporting you above you and that's how you see those guys coming at 100 miles an hour swinging in coming in hot but then you swing past the kite and it kind of slows you down like a parachute and sets you down very soft because of the positioning you know but um it always works better if you initiate it just off of 12 so you know if i'm going to loop it back to the right heli loop it back to the right i'm going to swing it off to the left first so that way when i initiate the heli loop i know that it's going through the apex through 12 o'clock you know you don't want to down loop it or heli loop it to the right from one o'clock because you never even hit 12 o'clock so every time you pass the zenith every time you pass the top you're creating lift and support so you know when in doubt throw it off to the side and then down loop it the other way so if you throw it off to the side and then down loop it the same side that you just threw it to you're never crossing 12 and you're just going to get thrown forward hard so always off center swing under back around so the good ones really feel like a helicopter yeah if you guys find this video helpful and all that jazz please like and subscribe and check out these guys for some more content